All right. After a stupidly long amount of time wasting away collecting ores and shit, I finally have Iron Katana Gospel. And after doing so many Kutku missions and selling spare Kutku parts, I actually have the silver boots. Yeah, no, fucking weird, isn't it? Well, it'll come in handy against the Plesioth. Oh, what's that? You'll have to wait till later to find out. Or just wiki search it, you know? Be a bitch. But yeah, um... Soon enough, I, I, I've got a bone branch weapon that's pretty friggin' good. But, uh... I'm going to, like, uh... Well, I'm gonna upgrade that before I do my next mission after this one. So I'm gonna be doing a few of the mission. I'm gonna be doing the few of the next like four star missions ahead of time. Cause I did this one. I I I like to do all my urgents like, you know, first time things. And it's been a while since I've fought against the Cephadrome, so you know, you're gonna you're gonna see my honest to god like first first try in a very long time fighting that friggin' bastard. And, yeah, unlike the Kutku, this guy is actually fairly difficult. He is no pushover, not in the slightest. Oh yeah, showing off Psycho Serum. It's basically like a five second paintball from anywhere on the map. Uh, it's pretty useless at this point because when you first start a mission, like when you first, first complete a mission... Oh yeah, I have to, I have to do that. Yeah. When you first, first complete a mission on, uh, Monster Hunter, uh, like any of your urgent quests, whatever monster you're hunting gets like a special intro. Also, going to the edge of the screen, it's basically, it, you know, it's your standard video game desert. It sends you back to wherever the hell you came from. Unfortunately. Regardless. We are about to head out. And meet up with the Cephadrome. Now, unlike the Velocidrome to the Velociprey, the Cephadrome is actually significantly different from the Cepha... the... whatever these guys... Cepha something... Cephalos. Yeah, Cephalos. The Cephadrome is friggin... way bigger. It's darker in color. And it does a shit ton more damage. I don't think it's that much faster than the others, but this is basically the alpha monster for, uh... For the, uh... Desert... Hammerhead shark guys. Um... You, you know, it's kind of a shame that they don't actually command other monsters. You know, like, order them to attack you or get into formation to it to try and pull some special attack or something like that. I think that would have been a cool addition to this game, but at the same time, you know, Capcom's already a dick enough. I don't think I've said that enough. I don't think I've said that at all enough. You know, Capcom, they make such great games, but they're such dicks about it. You know, like, freeware game creators, so the best of game creators. You know, you, you gotta say something nice once in a while. You don't have to be in a bag of dicks saying, yeah, you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick, he's a, he's a dick, she's a dick, it's a dick, we're all dicks. 
Anyway. So yeah. As you might guess, the Cephalos kind of get in the way when you're trying to attack the Cephalos. But... When you have a weapon with this much sharpness against the Cephadrome, it makes life significantly easier. Uh, especially if you're, like, willing to get in close. Like, get into close quarters combat with this guy, and, uh... Like, once you... Like, basically... Uh, when I say close quarters combat, I mean like go in between his legs. That's usually the strategy for any wyvern, is just to go in between their legs. There's a few exceptions in this game, but, you know, for now, that pretty much works, because the weak po their weak point is their underbelly, their tail, the thighs. Kuku is kind of, Kuku is kind of different. Kuku is all the outreaching parts of its being. You know, tail, claws, and beak. I kind of messed that up before, but, you know, who cares? It's cuckoo. This guy, no, you can't really be that careless. Because he's actually... You know, like I said before, he's a bit of a challenge. So, anyway, let's do a little weapon update today. Um, again, I have... I believe I mentioned last episode. Well, I don't know if I showed off my weapons before, but uh, the current weapon I have Yeah, if you can't tell, I kind of panicked there and rumbled the control sticks around a whole bunch, which is ca which caused me to draw my weapon and instead of like dodging Another reason why I think this game's controls suck. Regardless, I was just showing off that's what happens when you get knocked out. Like I said, this guy's no joke. So I skipped past a bunch of bullshit and took you pat took you back to uh here. Area two, because the Cephadrome only goes through three areas. Area seven. To an area three, which is its resting area, or nest, as you might call it. Uh, basically, yeah, back to the weapon update. I have on me the Iron Katana Gospel. Only has one more upgrade, and that is the Eager Cleaver, which is my favorite weapon in the game. And also the weapon that inspired my last. Uh, you know, my previous username, Bladed Lightning, because that's what I thought this game was. And by the way, you, that guy's a fucking douche. Surprise! Fish. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Anyway. Aha! Uh -huh, not this time, bucko. Uh, yeah, so the next weapon I'm going to be using will be the Great Serpent Blade. All I need is one light crystal to make it, and to do that, I have to kill a Gypsaros, which is a four-star monster, so I'm going to collect the light crystal on my practice run. Once I get that, I'll pretty much be s I'll pretty much be set on uh, weapons until I make either the eager until I make the eager cleaver, which I'm going to use to farm all those friggin' Rathalos and Rathian in order to make the Ravager blade in preparation for the final, final, well, not final, final, but second to final battle. Second to final, whatever. I call it the final battle because it's actually the last monster. Yeah, I ran to the edge of the screen again thinking I'd make it to area three as well, but no. Screw it. I use a forecaster. We won't be exploring many more of these areas at this point in time, but once we get to like five star quests, we're going to see a lot more of the desert area. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. 
Never mind. We won't see. We just won't see Area Five until Five Star Quests. So yeah. Regardless. Take it to the face. My God, I love the Iron Katana. It sings like a beauty. Such an amazing piece of hardware. I mean, just look at how much it trips this guy up. You know, despite the fact that I got stun killed. Oh, that's it for the Cephadrome. <laughs> Good night. Always end in a roundabout slash, apparently. Actually, I think I decapitated Cuckoo. Whatever, it's insignificant. That's exactly why I'm talking about it. Anyway. The, these guys. <laughs> these are like a tougher version of Aptana than... Uh, yeah, if you want raw meat, you go to these guys. But, uh... You know, I... Like, if you're desperate for raw meat... Like, you have a spit, but you don't have meat, and you don't have steaks, but I I don't feel like dealing with those guys. They're friggin' annoying. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to be upgrading to the Great Serpent Blade before my next mission. And then, I will use that for all the four-star quests until I make the E... and uh, the first few five-star quests... Well, it depends on when I get my last Vespoid wing and make the Vespoid helm. Because that will unlock the Kaizu mission. And I don't know if I'm going to show that off now or wait till later, but, uh... It's your call, folks. If you want to see it, uh, if you want to see the Kaizu when I unlock it, you know, let me know. But, uh... You know, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and get thunder sacks and pale extract from that from it so I can make those great ass swords and well that's about it for this point um yeah that's about all I really need to talk about at this point we have nothing but hunting quests now, take your pick of all these, uh, quests. Slay 20 Velociprey, 2 Velocidrome, uh, 30 Vespoid, already did that, you don't need to see it again, or the Gypsaros. Gypsaros, Gypsaraka, Raka, Raka, Rock the Rock. Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. Anyway. Yeah, just pick whichever, just pick which one you want, you guys want me to do next, and... You know, I'll do it. I'm pretty sure the Gypsaros is gonna be number one. And if nobody, if not enough people vote, you know, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Cause I need that for. I need Gypsaros materials for weapons anyway. So that's about it. I will see you. This concludes this episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Probably should have saved this to mention earlier, but the Ravager Blade, you can, as you can see, it upgrades in bo into both the Tactical Blade and the Lacerator Blade. The Tactical Blade takes a shit ton of Rathalos and Raytheon Claw. The Lacerator Blade, not so much. But the Tactical Blade is so much better. The Eager Cleaver, holy fucking shit, that's a lot of mining. And the Vile Serpent Blade. Hey, look, I'm almost done. All I need is a Light Crystal, and I can get that from Gypsaros. Even if it's a rare carb, I don't care. I mean, I've got two giant beaks from Cuckoo, and those are apparently 1% carbs, so I'm set. So this concludes this episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter. I will see you guys when we do something else. Four-star missions, ho! Hooray!